Hey guys, this is Ga this is uh, it's the polar bear, and this is game number three, and uh, it's a one apiece, and we are watching Yumiko versus Nicker, and uh, polite players saying GG, have fun, good luck, etc. All the basics, and are we gonna see the same same strategy here on Archmage Archmage's first for the human player? A quick uh, militia scout here, and uh, is he going to make a farm like in game number one, or just run back home like in game number two? Uh, we never know, but uh, actually the ancient the war a bit. He's going to build it a little bit more close to home this time around. This is this map is called Secret Valley, I think, and the only expansion here is here. Uh, is uh, to the north and south respectively here, and here for the north. Uh, for the human and, and nighter player and yeah he is going to build a farm right into the nighter space and this is probably not going to be taken down until like the 8 or 10 minute mark if uh, the game goes so long this actually has been quite the macro games both players expanded in both games game number one and game number two and uh, no single base uh, uh, wins here and a quick archer here and a quick uh, ultra elder a little bit quicker here on ultra elders but the wisps I wisp is moving out and is probably going for a tavern hero as well a footman being ma produced here from the human player and then archmates yet again and what hero are we going to see a fire lord or a dark ranger it's going to be quite interesting to see and a sheep just uh, strolling around here uh, the Archer following the peasant, the peasant of course so very moves so very slowly, but uh, what's going to be happening here, the Ultra Elders almost being completed, and the Archmage is now about, and that is all that the Whisper wanted to see, he wanted to see what hero he was up against, and the Archmage is not going to follow that Wisp, so the Wisp is probably going to go here and buy a hero, or the, uh, or the Ranger, uh, Ar Archer is going to buy the hero, and we are going into a Dark Ranger, uh, and of course he's going into a Dark Ranger, he won game number one quite convincingly with the Dark Ranger, so he's going to try to do to replicate game number one yet again. But will he succeed? We are going to find out. I can all oversee being taken down quickly, providing uh, almost level two and a ring of protection plus two, probably being sold for uh, 50 gold or something like that. Uh, creeping out this location here would probably provide level two, and I suppose he's going to be doing that. Yeah, he is going to do that. And then, if we watch uh, the previous games, then we know that the human player likes to harass after level two. So let's see what he is actually going for here. The ancient the war just walking about, probably going to kick this farm here and uh, compare if, if we compare the sizes he should be able to just kick that uh, farm down and of course the farm cannot uh, defend and we have uh, a level 2 for the dark ranger with that silence I think he has a silence ability if he so desires and a potion of great amount a pretty nice item pretty nice item for that dark ranger is uh, rel relies heavily on mana and it's just turning out into a creeping wars here uh, almost level 3 on the Archmage and uh, level 3 provides a level 2 water elemental and a level 2 water elemental has like 200 HP more than level 1 and a little bit more damage so that's quite dangerous there the farm almost being taken down by that ancient the war a little bit quicker than in game number 1 and we see they are just creeping out the map of course the Dark Ranger wants level 3 as well, he wants level 2 on that Dark Arrow uh, so he can spawn uh, even more powerful minions and we see a little engagement here but the Dark Ranger the only one uh, the only thing the Nightel wanted to see is if the expansion was being made and now the Dark Arrows is going to be focused on these peasants here and the peasants will be in uh, will be undead skeletons if they die under the influence of the dark or, or the shadow arrow and uh, one skeleton here being made and uh, and a lot of it's just a line of archers here uh, being shadow melted i'm not sure why all of them are shadow melted but uh, probably a misclick there 
But uh, who is going to come uh, ahead in this game? But the Dark Ranger has a scroll of teleportation. Is he going to use it? He has 50 HP and uh, he's uh, going to barely escape with his life. But uh, some skeletons here keeping on the pressure on the peasants. The poor peasants just with a uh, money back. They only know how to mine, they don't know how to uh, defend themselves unless they get some training from the town hall. And that's what militia is indeed. So we see the, uh, the expansion here from the human player, he has been consistently, consistently doing this the entire series and uh, the knight player has been uh, countering this with an expansion of his own um, all of the uh, all of the games. Uh, we see an ancient wonders of course for the items and he did actually w go for some uh, huntresses in game number two and it didn't work out that well uh, because he lost that game but he's going again into the ancient lures for that dryads i suppose and then uh, we're probably going to see a similar tactic from the human player as well a quick build here on the town hall and a level three on the archmates it seems that uh, yeah, no, I can't tell who has the advantage. There has been no big engagement unless at this expansion here that was earlier. But uh, they have similar experience though, so that was pretty uh, fair, fair trade. But we see the Pandrian Brewmaster, of course, uh, being true to his game, uh, going for the Tavern Heroes. He doesn't like the Demon Hunter or the keeper of the groove it seems but uh, we're going to see this this um, is not going to focus these water elements I'm not sure why they provide uh, a decent experience and here we have one skeleton providing like 15 experience for that Ahmed of course uh, you want all the experience you can have and again all of these archers here coming and trying to kill this expansion this seems to be a games of expansions in uh, this series but uh, that's pretty uh, weird for a warcraft game because if usually the warcraft games uh, are all about small armies no upkeep and uh, insane microplay and another uh, skeleton going to be spawned here no it's not going to be spawned maybe it can't spawn from another spawn that would be quite uh, tricky but that defend is saving these two footmen here quite uh, nicely of course defend reducing damage uh, that uh, the range attacks do by 50% I think and uh, two skeletons here being produced off that uh, dark arrow and the Archmates Arch Arch just uh, focusing on the dark ranger and it seems to me that that all the units here are from the night elf so I wonder if he's just going to keep up the pressure. And what are we going to do? It's just go no bears as of yet. Only dryads and uh, only footmen and no arcane sanctum as of yet. As uh, we have seen in game number 1 and 2. And a quick creeping here out of the o ogre lord, lord. And the ogre lord is going to provide some nice item and the Okomachia as well and which item probably some aura yeah it's a mana aura it's a level 1 brilliance aura and quite nice nice item there I thought for a moment that uh, the human player was creeping this out so I thought uh, of course he would sell that item because the Archimedes has a brilliance aura of his own but now we see level 4 on the draw ranger uh, dark ranger so and we have here uh, a small engagement here f between the uh, the neutral camp and uh, the human player but the human player is going to be caught off guard here by a lot of triads and and uh, archers and he needs to get the hack out of there selling an item I didn't get quite see what item he did sell but he wanted to buy a portion of invulnerability so he can fight another day but it seems to me that the uh, and another greater portion of mana it's a very nice item for both these heroes and uh, he has also a scroll of healing so it seems to me that the knight of player is just controlling this game as of yet though 
And are we gonna see monsters again? Of course the blacksmith needed to uh, be able to build the arcane sanctum and uh, and uh, the monsters. And the large engagement here. And is this going to be cancelled? Nope, it's not going to be uncancelled. So it's a nice block here for, for the human player. But the human player has no... Where is the human player army? He has uh, 41... Uh, over 48 in uh, upkeep. But... Uh, his army is nowhere to be seen, so a uh, one Archmage against all of this is not going to work out that well. Uh, but two footmen here being uh, being regenerated, but but how is this battle going to end? Probably uh, the human player should perhaps just call some militia and go and get some experience but uh, the town hall is being focused down and it need to be repaired and will be soon I believe that would be a huge blunder if he wouldn't repair the town hall and it would be taken down that would almost certainly mean game for the human player human player using the skull of uh, healing and healing himself up but he's just staying behind the towers and, and uh, repairing the towers while the knight of player is keeping up this aggression I, I just uh, there's no units for the human player as uh, to speak of and but they are in the similar food situation it just seems to me that uh, the human player has a lot of uh, peasants and he should perhaps throw some of them around uh, we have here three peasants not uh, doing any work just sitting on the bum doing nothing but a uh, low HP on both the Arc, uh, the Dark Ranger and the Pantheon Brewmaster. But uh, this uh, town hall is going to be taken down. If this keeps up, that is. The Archimedes has 130 life and should run away. Run away and a uh, potion of invulnerability be, be being used quite quickly there. Uh, the peasants, as you can see, one breath of fire, level three there, just killing three or four peasants. There's just bones on the ground here, and now the knight of player runs away, not because he's afraid, but he did his mission. He did what he wanted to do, and we see there that the dark ranger is obviously the hero choice for Nicker, the knight of player, and uh, yeah, knight uh, Nicker one two against one from Yumiko so see you next time